and blessed are those who were able to receive um, We intend to continue. You all need to know we live this legacy every day. It's not just Jilly and I. It's our whole extended family. Our blood family and then those that are our, our adopted family. All of you. You live mom and dad's legacy every day. Um, we just don't have to do it this way. <laughs> we can do it another way as we continue to go forward. It's time. The sport has grown. It's everything that I think Daddy dreamed it would be and what it's going to be in the future. Um, but in order to keep it at the best of the best, Julie and I would have to change a lot about who we are. And that would mean more time for our family and a lot more money out of our pocket. We just soon spend that money and go to college. We are officially passing the torch to the Tony Stone Low and Slow in the Netherlands. And I we're told going. we're gonna go. Yeah, we're going. I told Harry, I said, you pull 27 years off and then you'll be golden too. Yeah. So it's <laughs> I, got to send I can do that too. I got to send this to Mary Ann. You told her I said hi, congratulations. You told her I love it. Ready? You know how to do it. You do a selfies? No. no okay. Maybe I'm not on Facebook. I don't do selfies. Come on. Come on. Turn Mark, it around and look it. at it. Yeah. And then push the button. Push the button. <laughs> Steven, frames the faces. Yeah. Did you get it? Got it. All right, baby. <laughs> got it all. All right, it we did. It was a little off center, but he got it. <laughs> I got center. I'm off center. You're off. You kind of got a little over here. I'm off center. The other thing I want you all to know too, Julie and I have done this ourselves, our families. We have no sponsors. We don't go out and run the big road. Our children, our adopted children, our adopted family members are what pull this off. The other thing is my beautiful city of Cookville. We couldn't do it without it. We don't pay for the electricity. We don't pay for the police officers. We don't pay for the EMS. They do it for this community event. So thank you to them, especially for all that they've done. Um, I have a real special opportunity to uh, share the microphone, if you don't mind, please, with Mr. Alan Jackson. He is the pastor of World Outreach Church, um, a dear friend of Daddy's, and and mothers too, yes, oh, they left a mark on everybody. And so Alan's joined us today um, to share a few words and if you'll indulge us, please, we'd love to start this weekend off with a beautiful blessing. Thank you, Melinda. Bless y'all for making the effort to be here and come and work hard to bless this community. Uh, I don't know how to cook. I'm just, I'm the gopher. Whenever there's a team that gets pulled together, you know, I'm the one that leaves something to the store and I go get it. Or, that's my assignment. And I know how much hard work that is. I just want to thank you. And I want to thank this family for all that they've done. I'm a preacher. Makes you all nervous, right? <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be done an hour and a half or so. <laughs> <laughs> Tony asked me one time why I hung out with you. And I said, well, it looked like a real opportunity to me. So I just... <laughs> But, you know, if you give me a microphone, I'm going to take up an offering, so I better pray before I get to that. I want to do two things. I want to pray for you, that you, you, what your work this week will be a blessing on this whole community. And I want to pray for this family, because they have worked hard for a lot of years. And I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you being here to bless them. And didn't the Lord give us a beautiful weekend? He did. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you. I thank you for these men and women, for the effort they have made to travel, and the hours they'll put in to prepare food and to offer it up to be judged. But I pray for everybody that takes a place in this, that the time and energy and effort that they invest will be returned to them many times over. And I pray for this community, Lord. I thank you for the heart they have to serve one another and to encourage, and I pray that they'll flourish under your watchful hand. And I thank you especially for this unique family but for the way they have loved one another and honored one another. I thank you for the way the children have honored the memory of Tony. And Lord, I know that it won't stop this year. The event may change, but I know that those seeds that have been planted that we will carry away from here for many, many years to come. We thank you for it. Keep us safe and strong. And through everything we do this weekend, may the name of Jesus Christ be lifted up. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless y'all.
okay, we're going to have an official meeting. We're going to start with passing out Kleenexes, and then I'm going to hand it over to Philip Frazier, our your reps, Carolyn Wells, Philip, and Kathy Frazier. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wow, that was very tough. Um, I am sort of curious right off the bat. How many of you, is there anybody here that's been here, let's say, the last 10 years? Last 15 years? One short of 15? Anybody been here more than 15? Yes, okay, excuse me. 20? I don't know. This is 27. <laughs> wow. 20 years. Uh, I think we've been, Kathy and I have only been involved in it for about the last five or six, something like that, four or five. We judged it a few years. I got to tell this one quick story. I don't think he's here, but uh, Kathy and I for a long time tried to get in here to judge. And we never could seem to get in to judge this contest until we saw Mama Dean at one of the, uh, I think it was one of the Christmas parties. And she said something about us never coming to cook. I said, well, we can't get in to judge. She said, do what? I said, no, we can't, we can't seem to get in to judge. And she just looks at, let me talk to little Ricky. He said, we'll get that taken care of. Uh, those of you who don't know Ricky, Ricky was, uh, so his last name was Shelton. Shelton, that's right. He was over the judges for many years, and now he's the mayor of Cookville. But Mama D said, let me talk to little Ricky. So I had him in the fourth grade. said, y'all just plan on coming on judging next time. <laughs> ever since. So uh, I should have known who to go to. Should have gone to the top right off the bat with Mama Dean. Uh, I know we've talked a lot about Papa Tony this weekend and that's uh, well deserving but Mama Dean was right there with him. I mean I don't want to leave her out in it. She was the, uh, we were just talking a while ago. If some of you excuse what I'm fixing to say, many years ago she started a program that uh, didn't fly for very long with KCBS, but it was called the TITS. T I T S, but it was Turn In Table Specialists. And uh, it sort of grew from Turn In Table Specialists. It sort of got abbreviated. And I said it really caught on big time, enough to where we had men that came up and said, I want a TITS badge. So they would, they would work Turn In just to become a member. And uh, Mama Dean thought the world that she, she just got such a kick out of that program. But it was awesome. My name is George Gagko. I live here in Cobble. I was related to Tony Stone. Uh, this is my fifth time judging. Um, this, I, I'm not sure what you call this, maybe a breakfast? Dessert. Or, or, or a dessert. It was, it, the sausage was very good, but the combination of pecans and milk and yeah, I know it's a sausage contest, but taste-wise, all they all blended together very well. Uh, this this was a chili that was a uh, little little spicy, but it was good. But this you can tell I you can tell I didn't have a whole lot left on this uh, roll with it had sausage and, and uh, sour cream in it, which was very good. It was all good. Very well done. You're up. I'm Dan Lee, and uh, I just, uh, I really enjoyed this uh, dish right here. This had some type of cream in it. I'm not really sure what it was, but the sausage and uh, had some apple, and uh, I really enjoyed that. I did like the roll as well, too, so it was very good. And I'm uh, Tony Stone's son-in-law. Uh, You're up, Brooke. My name's Ethan, Ethan Breeding. Like Emily's handed me, uh, this one was my favorite. Uh, the one that's was, not there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the one that's not there. Um, it had kind of a cinnamon, I don't know, it was just a real different taste. A little spicy, and uh, that, one, that one was my favorite. Okay. My name's Billy. I live here in Cookville. As you can see, I don't have you much. You didn't like any of them. I don't, <laughs> I don't have much left, uh, but my favorite is the one that was gone, and it was actually really simple, probably the most simple one out of all of them. Uh, she's got some left, um, as you can see on the bottom, but it was simple. Almost felt like I was eating brisket, uh, but it was Wampler sausage, so I'm working on my dessert now. 
Hey, Emily, granddaughter of Tony Stone. And um, my favorite here was this honey bun with some sausage and cream cheese in the middle. It was just fantastic. It was that sweet and salty, just with some bread, but it didn't taste like a sausage biscuit. It was absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. <coughs> Pat Moran, Cookville, Tennessee. Um, I'm going with this one too. It's sausage and the apples and all. You don't know what mixture. it was, but no, it was good. It was huh? good. Great. Really great. So that was my. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Objectively and subjectively evaluate. Objectively and subjectively evaluate. Each barbecue meat. Each barbecue meat. That is presented to my eyes. That is presented to my eyes. My nose. My nose. My hands. My hands. My palate. My palate. I accept my digger. I accept my digger. To be a 27th annual Tony Stone Cookbook Cookoff and Final Cookoff Judge. So the truth, so the truth. Justice. justice, justice, excellence in barbecue, excellence in barbecue, in the American way of life, in the American way of life, may be strengthened and preserved forever, may be strengthened and preserved forever. Two, the skin was tough on both of them. Uh, my favorite was the chicken leg. Number one and five were really good. Number one had a really tender flavor. Number five um, was really <coughs> the flavor. Number five was the best. It was good flavor, good texture, it was juicy. I thought was my favorite in flavor. The rib itself was a little overcooked. Number four was the best cooked. The flight it lacked in flavor. Number five was my least favorite. The, the pepper flavor overpowered the meat flavor. I like number one too. It, 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 I agree, it was a little overcooked. Number two was overcooked too. Um, number four was cooked well, but its flavor was lacking a little bit. Uh, I think number three, the uh, flavor was off a little bit, and it was a little overcooked. Uh, number five, which I thought uh, had a good flavor to it, uh, and it had a good texture to it. Okay, I thought, uh, I thought number one tasted good, but uh, it, was, it was definitely overcooked. Um, all of the meat fell off the bone on mine. Um, I liked uh, 
number two probably the best, it, uh, even though it, it, did, it was a little dry. In fact, they were all kind of dry and overcooked. Um, number four uh, was, was, mine was a little too smoky and it was also dry. And then on number five, it, uh, it was dry and the, uh, I think that it had too much sauce, especially on the top row. It was uh, definitely was really over sauced. <coughs> My number one and number two are probably my favorites overall. They have both good flavor, but they're overcooked slightly. My third one, I couldn't even bite down to the food. It was just uh, rubbery and chewy. Uh, number four, mine was burnt and uh, crispy. And uh, my last one was just uh, kind of unpleasant. I couldn't, uh, I, mean, I had a hard time getting down to the bone. That was very chewy. Number one, just a flight I overcooked, but that good flavor. The second one was just almost a little overcooked. Not, not too much. It had a little bit of smoke flavor in it, which I liked. Number three was uh, kind of under, a little undercooked. It had a little bit of season on it, but I didn't agree with it. Uh, the fourth one, is, uh, it didn't have the flavor it could have when the sauce was overwhelming. The, the fifth one, it had a little bit too much sauce on top, a little bit undercooked. Same with him at school, she just wants to <laughs> On the, I had a hard time deciding between two and three. I finally went with three. I just think it was a better piece of meat. Uh, both had a really good flavor and really good texture. Number one was a little bit on the mushy side. Uh, number four was not bad. It just wasn't one of my favorites. And uh, number five didn't have much of a smoky flavor, so it was probably my least favorite. Number one was a, just a simple chop, which uh, had good flavor, good moisture. Number two was, uh, it surprised me from its appearance, but it had a great smoke flavor. Um, the chunk was just, I thought, very, very well cooked. Number three was also a favorite, just uh, a good piece of meat, as said. Good flavor and everything. My least favorite was number five. Uh, it just didn't have much flavor, and my mu money muscle was uh, kind of chewy and tight. A uh, problem with number three and number five, picking what my favorite was, um, I decided on number five is my favorite. It had a good taste to it, and uh, it was a good piece of meat. Number one was my least favorite. I thought it was mushy. And um, number two and number four were okay, but they weren't one of my favorites. Of all of my meat, uh, number one was uh, least favorite, no much flavor, and mushy. Number two was kind of dry, uh, but it did have a, a fairly good flavor. And number three had no flavor and was dry. That's my least favorite. Number four was flavorful, but not very uh, moist. And my favorite was number five. It was flavorful, it was tender, it was moist. Really interesting. 
number three was my favorite. Uh, my burnt hand was as best as being tender. The slice piece, I thought, was not as tender or as heavy, but I did like the burnt hand. Number one was a little much, not much taste. Number two it was very smoky taste. Uh, it was a little bit on the soft side for me. It was not too good. Number four was uh, okay. Uh, but now that cat don't hang around at all, so it's weird. Okay, uh, the brisket category. Uh, this is hard, uh, hard judge here, uh, but my favorite ended up being number two. It was relatively perfect, I thought. Uh, number four was terribly overdone, but the uh, taste was really good. And the other three just are really close seconds to that number two. Uh, just very minor variations kept me from getting perfect scores. Didn't find, uh, at least in my case, anything really outstanding. We haven't had uh, great food today, and I think this was in line with that. There's no going to be grand champions here. Uh, number two, I thought, uh, at least in my case, was cut too thin and uh, had far too much of a back cap on it. Uh, number four scared me when it came through because it looked overcooked and uh, dry. It was not appealing at all. Um, I was surprised to find into it and find that it was fairly tender and a pretty good taste to it. So that was kind of a surprise in this plate. Um, the others I agree before were, were okay and not much different in terms of quality of taste. I agree with the rest of them. We didn't have anything to write home about. Can uh, you write, David? Pardon? Can you write? <laughs> <laughs> Barely. <laughs> the, my situation here. It was either overcooked or could cook just a hair longer. Uh, you know, the tenderness wasn't there, and uh, okay. a couple of them, the taste was all right. The others just you know, cooked a piece of meat or whatever on. Uh, potatoes and brown gravy and had good roast beef. <clears throat> well, for me, number one, I thought uh, thought the burn in was great on it. And I, Slice for me was marginal. Number two, and for me, was just a little tough on my end. And number three, I thought uh, was a lacking in flavor for me and just a little tough. And number four was overcooked. And number five was, I thought, as far as tenderness and having it, that was probably the best one on the plate for me is uh, number five. Yes, and I was looking at all of these and my first entry I felt like was just a little bit salty. The brisket was it itself, but the burn ends seemed to be salty on it. The second entry seemed to be a little bland. Uh, maybe that's just my taste. Number three was, I thought, just a little tough. 
Number four and five, the brisket and this tasted pretty good, but then the burnt ends kind of turned me off on both of those. Well, for me, this is kind of bittersweet because this is the 27th annual Tony Stone Cooper Cook-Off. This is also the final table, so this is going to be the last category of the last cook-off for Tony Stone uh, Cooper Cook-Off. So it's bittersweet to me. A brisket, I don't think we had a winner at the table. Uh, they all had a little bit of something wrong with them. Number one had a odd taste with the burn in. The slices were okay. Number two, uh, again, the burn in, I don't know what the taste was, but it was a strange. And the meat itself is kind of dry and it has a huge strip of fat at the bottom. So I don't know why the cooks won't trim that fat strip a little closer. Number three, uh, tasted okay, but it, uh, the meat itself was a little tough. Number four was cooked hard is dry and charred black uh, but the meat itself was very tender it actually had a pretty good taste to it and the last one uh, again the burn ends just tasted awful on the number five repeat after me i do solemnly swear i do solemnly swear objectively and subjectively evaluate objectively and subjectively evaluate Barbecue meat. Each barbecue meat. That is presented to my eyes. That is presented to my eyes. My nose. My nose. My hands. My hands. My palate. My palate. I accept my digger. I accept my digger. To be a 27th annual Tony Stone Cookbook Cookoff and Final Cookoff Judge. So the truth. So the truth. Justice. Justice. Excellence in barbecue. Excellence in barbecue. In the American way of life. In the American way of life. May be strengthened and preserved forever. May be strengthened and preserved forever. Peace out. skin was tough on both of them. Uh, my favorite was the chicken leg. Number one and five were really good. Number one had a really tender flavor. Number five um, was really <coughs> the fat was good. Number five was the best. It had good uh, flavor, good texture, it was juicy. I thought was my favorite in flavor. The rib itself was a little overcooked. Number four was the best cooked. The flavor it lacked in flavor. Number five was my least favorite. The, the pepper flavor overpowered the meat flavor. I like number one too. But it, 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 I agree, it was a little overcooked. Number two was overcooked too. 
Um, number four was cooked with, but its flavor was lacking a little bit. Uh, I think number three, the uh, flavor was off a little bit, and then it was a little overcooked. Uh, number five, which I thought uh, had a good flavor to it, uh, and it had a good texture to it. Okay, I thought uh, I thought number one tasted good, but uh, it was it was definitely overcooked. Um, all of the meat fell off the bone on mine. Um, I liked uh, number two probably the best. It uh, even though it, it did it was a little dry. In fact, they were all kind of dry and overcooked. Um, number four uh, was was mine was a little too smoky. And it was also dry. And then on number five, it uh, it was dry, and the uh, I think that it had too much sauce, especially on the top row. It was uh, definitely was really over sauced. Uh, my number one and number two are probably my favorites overall. They had both good flavor, but they're overcooked slightly. My third one I couldn't even bite down to the bone. It was just uh, rubbery and chewy. Uh, number four, mine was burnt. Uh, crispy, and uh, my last one was just uh, kind of unpleasant. I couldn't, uh, I had a hard time getting that to the bone. That was very chewy. Number one, it's just quite overcooked, but that good flavor. The second one was just almost a little overcooked, not not too much. It had a little bit of more flavor in it, which I liked. Number three was uh, kind of under, a little undercooked. It had a little season on it, but I didn't agree with it. Uh, the fourth one, it, uh, it didn't have the flavor that it could have when the sauce was overwhelming. The, uh, the fifth one, it had a little bit too much sauce on top of it, but undercooked. Same with him at school, she just wants to <laughs> On the, I had a hard time deciding between two and three. I finally went with three. I just think it was a better piece of meat. Uh, both had a really good flavor and really good texture. Number one was a little bit on the mushy side. Uh, number four was not bad. It just wasn't one of my favorites. And uh, number five didn't have much of a smoky flavor, so it was probably my least favorite. Number one was a, just a simple chop, which uh, had good flavor, good moisture. Number two was, uh, it surprised me from its appearance, but it had a great smoke flavor. Um, the chunk was just, I thought, very, very well cooked. Number three was also a favorite, just uh, a good piece of meat, as said, good flavor and everything. My least favorite was number five. Uh, it just didn't have much flavor, and my mu money muscle was uh, kind of chewy and tight. A uh, problem with number three and number five, picking what my favorite was, um, I decided on number five as my favorite. It had a good taste to it, and um, it was a good piece of meat. Number one was my least favorite. I thought it was mushy. And um, number two and number four were okay, but they weren't one of my favorites.
of all of my mood today, uh, number one was uh, least favorite, no much flavor, and mushy. Number two was kind of dry, uh, but it did have a, a fairly good flavor. And number three had no flavor and it was dry, that's my least favorite. Number four was flavorful, but not very uh, moist. And my favorite was number five, it was flavorful, it was tense, it was moist. Number three was my favorite. Uh, my burnt hand was as tasty as very tender. The sliced piece, I thought, was not as tender or as hot, but I did like the burnt hand. Number one was a little mushy, but not much taste. Number two it was very smoky taste. Uh, it was a little bit on the soft side, but it was not too good. Number four was okay. Quite my favorite. Number five, I thought we'd have a good taste, but uh, my slice of this was a little bit. But now that cat don't hang around at all, so it's weird. Okay, in uh, the brisket category, uh, this is a hard, uh, hard judge here, uh, but my favorite ended up being number two. It was relatively perfect, I thought. Uh, number four was terribly overdone, but the uh, taste was really good. And the other three just are really close seconds to that number two. Uh, just very minor variations kept me from getting perfect scores. didn't find, uh, at least in my case, anything really outstanding. We haven't had uh, great food today, and I think this was in line with that. There's no going to be grand champions here. Uh, number two, I thought, uh, at least in my case, was cut too thick and uh, had far too much of a back cap on it. Uh, number four scared me when it came through because it looked overcooked and uh, dry. It was not appealing at all. Um, I was surprised to find into it and find that it was fairly tender and a pretty good taste to me. So that was kind of a surprise in this plate. Um, the others I agreed for were, were okay and not much different in terms of quality of taste. I agree with the rest of them. We didn't have anything to write home about. Can uh, you write, David? Pardon? Can you write? <laughs> <laughs> Barely. <laughs> the, my situation here. It was either overcooked or could cook just a hair longer. Uh, the, you know, the tenderness wasn't there, and uh, okay. a couple of them the taste was all right. The others just you know, cooked a piece of meat or whatever on. Uh, potatoes, brown gravy, and had good roast beef. <clears throat> well, for me, number one, I thought uh, thought the burn in was great on it. And I, Slice for me was marginal. And number two, and for me, was just a little tough on my end. And number three, I thought uh, was a lacking in flavor for me and just a little tough. And number four was overcooked. And number five was, I thought, as far as 
tenderness and have you, that was probably the best one on the plate for me is uh, number five. Yes, and I was looking at all of these, and my first entry I felt like was just a little bit salty. The brisket was it itself, but the burn in seemed to be salty on it. The second entry seemed to be a little bland. Uh, maybe that's just my taste. Number three was, I thought, just a little cut. Number four and five, the brisket themselves tasted pretty good, but then the burnt ends kind of turned me off on both of those. Well, for me, this is kind of bittersweet because this is the 27th annual Tony Stone Cook Cookoff. This is also the final table, so this is going to be the last category of the last cookoff for Tony Stone uh, Cook Cookoff. So it's bittersweet to me. A brisket, I don't think we had a winner at the table. Uh, they all had a little bit of something wrong with them. Number one had a odd taste with the burn in. The slices were okay. Number two, uh, again, the burn in, I don't know what the taste was, but it was a strange. And the meat itself is kind of dry and it has a huge strip of fat at the bottom. So I don't know why the cooks won't trim that fat strip a little closer. Number three, uh, tasted okay, but uh, the meat itself was a little tough. Number four was cooked hard is dry and charred black uh, but the meat itself was very tender it actually had a pretty good taste to it and the last one uh, again the burn ends just tasted awful on, on number five but the slices